the latest in strategic affairs subscribe to our youtube channel click the bell icon for updates a very warm welcome to all our viewers no matter where you are and what time of the day or night it is where you're joining us and a welcome to our viewers who will join the stream later on our youtube channel our guest tonight is well known both on strat news global and bharat shakti lieutenant general pr shankar he's been the director general of artillery in the indian army and is currently a professor of practice at the aerospace department in iit madras general thank you so much for your time sir oh thanks a lot amitabh it's a pleasure to be on the just and good evening to all the viewers let's start let's start straight away sir with the s400s and with the russian saying that you know delivery of the systems had already begun the, the first operational uh, division should be in place by the end of this year uh, tell us a little bit more in terms of its characters characteristics and capabilities of why it's known as the most potent uh, symbol of air defense in the world sure uh, the s400 is first a system it's not a missile okay. right now uh, like a good air defense system it has got uh, multi function radars it has got uh, you know surveillance radars it's got a fire control radar it's got missile systems it's got launchers and a command and control center now the beauty of this system is that it can be integrated into the existing air defense assets and their communication networks right now this why is this you know system good why are we hankering after it it has got the capability of engaging aircraft uavs cruise missile it also has a terminal ballistic defense capability that means you don't not only get a, a ad cover air defense cover you get mm-hmm. you also get minimal or some element of a to ad anti access anti denial right okay now it can take on 36 targets simultaneously and and the system can be deployed within about 5 to 6 minutes maybe 10 minutes you know depending on the conditions uh, it's got very good ecm capabilities that is electronic counter measures and uh, it has its radars are very sensitive it can uh, capture targets which are uh, you know low emitters and low signature targets right so that means even stealth aircraft can get detected after all stealth aircraft is what low signature that's about all now the system has four missiles at this point of time right one is a 400 km missile one is about 250 40 km the third is 120 km and one is at 40 km around 40 km why do you uh, want all these so that you can each target gives you a different posture at various ranges so you have a capability of engaging a aircraft at 400 240 40 and 120 and with in any combination you want right so it's not one missile it's got, it's a combination of four missiles now the thing is that all the launchers and the ground support systems are all one time buy but the missiles you need to keep you know refurbishing yeah. depending on your expenditure patterns right they are also developing another missile which is a hit to kill capability that means mm-hmm. uh, that's going to be effective against ballistic missiles ballistic mm-hmm. you know this thing they where you going to hit the uh, incoming missile rather than uh, go it's a kinetic kill rather than a, yeah. uh, just a explosive kill right you just hit it directly no that's yeah. this thing and then it has got fire and forget capability you detect a target and you lock it and you know and you fire it and that's the end of the story but why is it a game changer people talk about it as a game changer and very potent stuff because mm. by far in terms of capacity and efficacy it has outstripped most of the other systems in the world today and this is proven okay mm. and of course in terms of uh cost effectiveness it is much 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 more cheaper than the western systems 